Amber's justification for chasing Johnny around and bombarding him with messages when he escapes from fights is that she tries to prevent him from using mind-altering substances because according to her, he's surrounded by enablers. On the page, you write a long series of text messages to Mr. Depp that don't get a response. Come groan. Please come home. Be the man. Please, no fight. I promise. Please, no fights. Please, just pick up. Please call me. I need to talk to you. Please, Johnny, don't force me to be something else to you. This is taking me for granted and I can never stop. Before this turns into something far darker, describing yourself in that text message, right? The exact opposite. I'm trying to interrupt him starting a new cycle where he starts using again. He's I'm trying not responding desperately to you, Miss Heard. There were, there were even a couple of times when I did escape and I got to my house. Five minutes later, she would arrive. She would arrive in her nightgown screaming in the parking lot in front of in front of my house uh screaming to high heavens and it'd be four in the morning three in the morning it was ludicrous it was it was uh it was out of control it was uncontrollable the proof that came out in the trial suggests that she wants him to partake in drugs and alcohol this is a text message that you sent to mr Depp, correct that is correct and you write quote hey baby bring up something to drink and or a joint I'm in if you are. See you in a minute. And then the next day you went to Coachella and consumed MDMA and mushrooms. Right, Ms. Heard? I did. In fact, Amber made drug consumption an integral part of their wedding day plans, as she writes, after dance party, drugs, and music. Was she intoxicated at any time during the wedding weekend? Yes. There was a large consignment of wine that had been delivered to the house at the start of the visit. Many cases that I had to store, I had to find a place to store. Generally speaking, on a day-to-day, -day, about one or two bottles of red wine were consumed per day. I think that's fair to say. Did you ever observe Mr. Depp drink any of the wine? No, I didn't. I didn't see Mr. Herp, Mr. Depp, Depp consume any alcohol during that time in London. Did you ever observe Miss Heard drink any of the wine? Yes, I did. Regularly? Daily. Uh, she was drinking quite a bit. And, oh, she, uh, says she, doesn't, she says she doesn't like to get drunk. She testified to that in the UK court. Was bragging about how many boxes of wine she orders and, and likes to drink. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Oh, <laughs> it's public. At that point, I said to her, okay, listen, I've never asked you this before. How about you? stop drinking how about you get sobriety and share this sobriety with me to support me and help me through this what did she say to that no no <laughs> she said no she said she didn't have a problem i did a lot of changing to support his sobriety i tried everything that i could possibly think of but you drank wine around mr Dapp on a regular basis correct i did drink wine miss heard wasn't the only one who had a problem with your drinking correct so if anyone had a problem with my drinking at any time in my life, it was me. The only person that I have ever abused in my life is myself. Um, I'll write you a check for the extra sip I took. Is that okay? Stitch. I only brought it up. Mm -mm. You did. You said don't drink my wine. That's mine. I didn't say that. Oh, you did. I said I didn't think you were looking for anymore. Three more.